Hello guys, my name is Voidatron. Last week I gave a little tour of a big house that I made and I'm gonna do something similar this video. So I'll be touring my village that I built. So let's get started. Before we enter the village, I'm gonna show the outskirts of it. Here's my little house that I stay in. Here is a beacon. There's a neighboring village. And there's a ruined nether portal, which is pretty neat. I'll start with my little house. Here's the cute little farm where my personal foods are ate. A bed, ender chest, chest, this basic stuff. I like the birch and spruce design of it, but that's about all there is to it. But now, how do I get in the village? I'll do a little quick run around. Can I go through here? Nope. So that's very strange, there's no way to get in, but uh, the way to get in is through there. So what I do is I go through this ruined nether portal. And then here we got a little copy of the house, a respawn anchor, which isn't powered right now. Chest and all that. Uh, looks pretty similar, a little farm, same kind of thing. I don't have any gold armor on, but here's my trading pal. And then in here is a house that looks a bit familiar from the beginning. I have some gold armor in case. And the chest with nothing in it. Lodestone so I don't get lost. But uh we go up here. We go through this specific portal. And we're in a a very similar room. So we'll go downstairs through water. And uh, we have guests already. We go outside. Looks like we teleported into the village. Look at that. Uh, it's a nice little area. I like all these houses, so let's get started with the tour right away. We'll start with this little corner. Here we have the blacksmith, which is just a classic blacksmith house. A little modified. The anvil is an actual anvil. Let's take a look inside. Oh, here is the weaponsmith. Hello, sir. Here's an, enchant it's an enchanting room, has a grindstone, and every building has an ender chest. Here's this chest to store things in, and it's a cute little house for him. I, it's, he lives there. Here are his trades. They're pretty good. He has a very nice sword that you can give me every now and then, so thank you very much, sir. Next up, we'll go to the house I came from. There is the brewing area, slash the portal room. Again, ender chest. Two beds. These guys are the brewing brothers. Uh, they got some nice stuff for me. Yep. These brewing stands are supposed to be one up, but it turns out it has to be on the floor or else they can't make it their workstations. So that kind of sucks, but that's okay. Up here, as you guys already saw, portal room, nice in the attic. It's like this, so they can't get up because these guys, they're meant for, our, for, you know, brewing and stuff. They are not fit for hell. They're good people. Right outside, another right hoe for when uh, he starts destroying his crops by jumping on them. But here's the farmer. He can give me some nice, rare golden melons. Also, for the Brewing Brothers, we got another wart right here. Looks like they're coming out to say hi. But yeah, he supplies the town with all their bread. And yep, this is a nice, cute little take on the classic uh, farm. Has almost everything you could need. We got it. Cocoa beans for dessert time. You know, they're having their feast. They get some cookies. There's one of our many many bodyguards. And in here is the village storage along with this toolsmith. So he spends his time refining everyone's tools, organizing in chests. Seems like he hasn't started yet. Uh, yeah, this is his bed. His trades are also quite nice. He has some nice diamond gear for me. I like the design of this house. It's kind of reminiscent of my... Uh, it wasn't recorded, but my 1.13 survival house was like this with birch wood. But I like this design, the kind of circle-y design. 
Wait, there is a way out. I didn't even realize that. Oops, that's my bad. Now, will I keep that? Will I get rid of it? I don't know. But we'll move on swiftly. I promise I didn't even know that door was there. Here is a... Uh... Is this working? Usually this works really good. But here is our uh, mason who works on our stone materials. He has a nice stone generator. Which isn't working for some reason right now. Come on, what's going on? So now it's working. I didn't even do anything. I just took the lava out and replaced it. So that's strange. But yep, here's a nice stone generator for our mason to get and make materials out of. He's got the stone cutter to cut the stone. So that's nice. It looks like they're having their little gossip time right now. But we'll move on swiftly. Here we got the cartographer's house and the loom person's house. There's only one bed here. One person leaves for the night. They both have their own chest. One works on banners, one works on maps. They both work from the same paper. So they've gotten along, harvesting the trigger cane together, making paper. Another little cute birch and a spruce house, as you can tell from my own house. I like the design of mixing Bruce and spruce. spruce. And here is another house design from a classic village. It's the big house, which also serves as the bedroom for the people who don't have homes. This is a little community bed. Acacia wood. The people who use that are like the fisherman, whose workstation is the barrel outside. The farmer, whose workstation is, uh, what do you call it? The composter outside. And uh, the blacksmith, whose workstation is in this room without a bed. And yeah, I'll show you all the sleeping later when it's time to, when it's bedtime. But speaking of the barrel, here's their little middle pond. We have a little barrel for fishing. Our fisherman fishes. Where is our fisherman right now? Is this you? Oh, you're the farmer. Fisherman. Oh, whatever. We'll... It's a shepherd. I'm not sure where our fisherman is. Hope he's okay. We'll see tonight when everyone's in bed. Oh, here's our fish. That's a farmer. I'm getting sidetracked. This isn't what the video is about. It's a tour. But the final thing is the Fletcher's house, which is a big tower made of birch. It's like the cobblestone one, but replaced with birch wood. We have his fletching table, and this house is interesting. All the windows open up, so the sniper can, you know, snipe his way. We've got a second floor with the store. So again, more sniper work. He could help the golems defend the night. Open all the doors. Goes all the way to the top. Do we have feather falling on this? No, we don't. So let's not jump down. But yep, look, we can get a nice view of the sunset from up here. And there's all another neighboring village. Uh, as you can see, everyone's starting to go to bed. The brew one, the brewing brothers just went inside. Let's see if I can jump down safely. You know, I can't make that pond. I'll oh, we'll just do it regularly. Let's come down this ladder. Oh, looks like the Fletching Fletcher's in his bed nicely. Let's say goodnight to everybody, and that'll be the video. I really enjoyed making this little village. It's a cute little idea. Alright. How's our Mason doing? Yep, goodnight little Mason. And here is... The, um, Shepherd sleeping. He gets the bed. The, uh, Cartographer sleeps in the bed house. See, here's the fish. Here's the fisherman. I was worried about you, pal. <coughs> here is the cartographer, and here is the t uh, weaponsmith who lives in the there, but doesn't have a bed. And here is the farmer who works by the composter outside. Oh, one of the brewing brothers is getting blocked by the cocoa beans. Come on, join your brother. That <laughs> happens sometimes. Thank you for opening the door for me. Oh, how rude. See the Brewing Brothers sleep in there, getting ready to make potions tomorrow for the village to defend against the raiders. The Toolsmith Man, you know, sleeping. And there we go, a nice fully functional survival village. I do quite love it a lot. Uh, I'm not sure if I like this more or the house more that I toured last week. Um, both have their pros and cons. But yes, as you can see, I have a ominous banner shield. And here's a trophy to show we stopped the raid. A campfire for them to tell their stories around and gossip. But yep. Uh, with that, 
think it's time for me to go to my own house. So I'll use this door where I just found out it exists. I must have built it a long time ago because I forgot it existed. We'll go, we'll go sleep in my own little bed. We'll take a watermelon for dessert. Because I like a sweet melon after a nice few minutes of talking. My voice is getting a little, little I'm sore. But yeah, we'll go to sleep and, you know, have a nice dream about the village. And outros are hard. Thank you for watching.